Alrighty, I'm getting my video all set up. Uh, I heard you wanted to run Eve on the treadmill. I'm all about putting dogs on this treadmill, so I'm super excited. Eve is super excited. She's checking things out. You smell all the doggies? Did you smell what are you doing? Oh, you don't like these ones, Eve. You like these tricky. Well, we can see you might like these ones. I don't know if you've tried these ones. I know, don't pee there. You don't pee there? I know it smells so good. I know. I thought I cleaned it up pretty good. You still smell it? I'm gonna extra bleach it. I'm gonna extra bleach that spot since it's so stinky. Ready? Come on. Good girl. Nice. I like her. Um, good job. I like her body language from when she good uh, when she first walked in, where she had that butt tucked, kind of uh, nervous and unsure to. now. Shh. What? Come on. You love this. You love this. This is the liver. This is the kind you have. I promise. Okay. I'll let you check it out. You check it out for a minute. I'm going to grab a different treat. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do for Miss Evie, Evie, Evie. Yes. Check things out. Smell around. Get acquainted. Get a pointed. Um, you here. Let's try. What if we try these? This is duck liver. This uh, we have beef liver. Ooh, lamb liver. I have the livers of every animal. Yes, we have all the livers. Good girl. Eat it. Ready? Duck liver, it smells like a duck. I don't know what the duck smells like. Okay. Good job. Here. Free. Freebie. Oh. Oh, very distracted. Very distracted. We might just jump on this treadmill to get in the mindset of of working and doing stuff. Very distracted with smells. We had a lot of peers today in here. Ready? I know, I was just peeing all day. They were peeing in my stuff. Okay, I'm gonna switch your leash though. I'm gonna switch your leash over to this leash. Okay. Just so we don't get that stretch. There we go. Nice. Good job. So I'm gonna walk up here first. Good girl. Oh, you got it from this side. Oh, this side. Good. Nice. Good job. Good girl. Very good girl. Sorry about my butt in your face. Very nice job. Oh, and that's okay. We're going to go again. Ready? And up. Good. Good girl. Oh, no, let's start again. This way. Oh, this way. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Nice. Good. Very good. You're doing good. Oh, sorry about my butt again. Very nice. Very nice. Good girl. Oh, I know. I know. Good. Good. Come on. Yes. Yes. Good girl. There you go. Very nice. There we go. Sorry, I'm totally blocking her. She is wondering what the heck is happening to her. Why is the ground moving? There we go. That's a good pace. Sorry about my butt being annoying. Oh, her. Come on, keep it up. Keep it up. Good. Good girl. Keep it up. Come on. Good. Good job. Keep it up. Good job. Yes. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Very nice. That's awesome. Come on, Eve. Good job. I love that she had the harness on already. It makes it easy to kind of remind them, okay, you gotta keep walking. You gotta keep walking. Uh, so right now I have her at, good job. You're doing good. Uh, 1.4 miles per hour. So this is, as you can see, just a really 
basically uh, a walk. I would say maybe like a brisk walk, not even a brisk. Normally, um, I track myself, I walk my dogs at around 2.5 miles per hour. Um, so I walk a little faster. Uh, this is a very slow pace to walk at, but I like to start them off at a slow pace on here so it's not as scary. Because I can imagine going on something scary for the first time and it starts moving really quickly. That can be very off-putting. Um, but she's doing really good. Yeah, you are doing very good. Nice job. Good girl. Good girl. You're walking nice. And then I just slowly put it up, one at a time. One speed at a time. Oh yes, look at girl. Very nice girl. Very good. You're really good. I wanted today get her up. As you can tell, this is a super awkward slow pace. That's why her feet are um, walking all weird. She like has them together, is not sure. She's not in a full, um, her gait, they call it. Her gait is not fully being used here because of how the speed is going. So I am going to speed this up. Right now she is at... You're doing really well. Good job. You're doing good. 1.7. I do want to get her up to two and a half. Good girl. I know you want to walk by me, huh? Good. You can walk by me. You can do that. Good girl. Very nice. Very, good job. You're doing really awesome. Still that really awkward feeding. We're at 1.9. It's gonna get a lot more natural looking around 2.5, because again, that's their kind of normal gait pace. Um, but again, I don't wanna freak her out. I wanna work our way up. Good job, no, you got it. You got it. Good, good, yes. Very good girl. You're doing good. Now we're at two. Good job. Very nice. We're slowly getting there. It's a little better. Her, ah, there we've got some really nice footwork. Much better. Much better. Still awkward. But we're getting there. Very nice. This is looking much better now. Um, also, uh, a lot of people like get worried, like, oh, what if they strangle themselves? Well, first day she's on her harness. She's not gonna strangle stuff with this. Also, there is a emergency release button. If I were to pull this button, it's not even like it slows down. The track stops completely, immediately, instantly. As soon as that button is hit, it's going to stop um, moving completely. Uh, dogs are never, ever, I never leave a dog here unattended. I'm always sitting right here next to a dog. Um, so nothing is ever going to happen. Nothing has ever happened. Um, I'm very, very, very big on keeping my eye on them. See, we're, we're at 2.3 right now and we're getting to a good uh, pace. Her feet look so much better and it's so much more natural for her. It's super awkward, that slow pace, walking that slow. You're doing really nice. Ooh, 2.4, 2.5 is what I want to have her walking at. Good job. Good. I've been adjusting it about every 10, 15 seconds. I let her get used to it um, before I start adding on a whole ton of speed. Oh, come on. I know I make it awkward for you when I put my hand in there. So here we are, we're at 2.5. Good, I like this much better. It's so funny, it looks so much different in the camera than it does like looking looking down. It looks a lot faster, me looking down at her and in the camera, it just looks kind of like slower, it's funny. Very good. Yeah, you're doing super well. What a super good girl at the treadmill. I want to, um, normally I put dogs on it for 10 minutes, um, around between five and 10 minutes the first time, depending on um, how they're handling it. She's handling it super well. She's having a very positive first association with it. So I love that. Um, this is mentally 
stimulate or er, yes, mental exercise because of the fact that it's so different. I'm running on a machine and it's I've never seen anything like this before. Um, so it can be mentally draining in that aspect and obviously physically draining because I have to move my feet on it. Good. There. I like this pace. I like this pace a lot. Yes, there we go. You're doing very good. Very good. This gets those extra energies out. What I like about the treadmill is especially here in the summer when it's blazing 3,000 degrees and I'm like, I am not going outside. I'm not walking my dogs outside. I'm like, all right, on the treadmill we go. So this is super, super nice for that. Yeah, you're doing really good. Let's check your time. Seven minutes. Oh my goodness, you're well over halfway done. I'm going to have her do three more minutes. Uh, she's doing amazing. All right, here you see I have my hand on her um, loop on the harness. I am not pulling it. I have this here just in case she were to get nervous and do that stop walking thing, but she hasn't. She is completely, good job. Gotten used to it and is all about it. Good girl. Very nice. Very good. This is um, like a brisk walk pace. This is, uh, I would say, faster than a normal person walking, but uh, still we're not to a jog or a trot or a run. We're not there yet. Good job. Yeah, you're getting tired. You're doing good though. Couple minutes. You're doing good. Very nice. Oh, and you went 0.2 miles. You're doing so good. Burnt 32 calories, eight minutes, two more minutes. You can do it, two more minutes. And so right now her speed is three miles an hour. You're doing very good. We'll stay at this pace for your last minute, a uh, minute and a half. You're doing so good. Good, good girl. Keep it up. Really good. She's handling this so perfectly. So now we know she's at 0.3 miles an hour. So we, good. Yep, you got it. You got it. Good girl, you're doing so good. 0.3 miles an hour, and we're um, going to continue to increase that as she builds her confidence with this. You know, I don't want to exhaust her on her very first time. Ah, easy, 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 good. So here, easy. Good, good. There, nice job. I'm super big on when dogs, I call them fits. Anytime a dog's using any sort of training equipment, whether it be a collar, a leash, the treadmill, any of my equipment with throwing fits, I'm big on saying, no, we're not going to be throwing a fit. We are going to do it. And they snap out of it and they get right back into it. I love that. If I were to let them get into that fit, they would throw it every time that they didn't want to do it. Um, I let them know, nope, we're going to continue to do this. We're going to keep going. We're not going to quit. You have one more, less than a minute. I think actually you're probably there. Yep. What a good girl! Yes, you know. Oh my goodness, you did so good. That's really good. Good girl. Come here. This way. This way. Yes! Good job, Eve. Good job. Oh, shake that off. Shake that off. Oh my goodness. Good job. Let's go get some waters. Let's go get some waters. That was a really good. I'm gonna put this phone here. Sorry, I'm gonna be moving it around. Come here. Come here. Get some water. No? Ooh, no. Okay. No water for Eve. No water for Eve. She's going to check out the smells again. Super cool smells. Okay. I've been working a lot 
lately with dogs on um, boundaries, on house boundaries. Different kinds. Oh, sorry, one minute. Okay, I'm back. Different kinds of house boundaries. Um, one I'm super big on is a door boundary. Um, I've been working with her. I know I've worked with her on this before, but is knowing right here is. Oh, yeah. Oh, you like that treat, huh? Good, good. It's being able to step back from that door so that I can open it. Ah, good. I never, I've made a rule, I never let dogs between me and a door. Uh, it's a safety concern. I don't know what's on the other side of that door. And if a dog darts out, there's no way I can handle that situation uh, properly. So this way I check safety. I open the door and able to see and assess the situation and decide if we're going out or not without having the dog uh, run out into a dangerous situation. So let's see. Eve, ready? Ready? Let's go. Ah, too close. So I made my boundary. Good girl. Yes. Can we sit? Good girl. Good. Good job. Good job. Sister girl. Sister girl. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, you're leaving my tears. I think my boundary, oh, you can't really see it in the camera, but it's like right outside, right here. This um, line right here. Um, there's also a line on the floor that I look at. I stay firm. No, you have to be behind that line. It gives me enough uh, room to open that door. You want to do this in your house. Pick an area, pick a line, and say, nope, we're not allowed um, past this line. And how you do that is you use, I know there's tea everywhere. I tried to bleach it. I guess that's not good enough. I'm gonna super bleach when you go. Ready? Eat. Yes, go on. Let's go. So you wanna use that spatial pressure? I'm not telling her to do anything. I'm just gently pushing her body back with mine. And as long as she's behind that line. Good job! Good job! Good job! She gets rewarded. Uh, I love that she did it. She didn't move, uh, which I, she doesn't have to be sitting down, nothing like that, as long as she doesn't cross that line. Um, what I like there is she didn't. Say she had advanced forward, taken a step over that line, I shut the door. I visually show her the chance of that reward of going outside is taken away. So I'm actually going to shut this gate really quick. Oh, it is. Oh, you can. Thank you for not... There we go. So I'm going to reward her by letting her go outside. Eat. Good choice. Ready? Ooh, back. Good. Yes. Very nice. So I have that door open. Okay, come on. Very good. Let's check it out up here. Super cool. And this is all gated in. Um, I closed the gate here so there's nowhere she can fall off or nowhere she can go. Just checking out this out here, the sights, the smells. Good job. That was really good. Oh, now I'm blind. Now I can't see a thing. Let's get a treat. I don't know if you like these treats. You seem very interested in the pee, the pee spots. You think? No? Really? Really, Ian? You picky? You eat the treat that's on the floor, though. I'm pretty sure that was like a garbage treat. Oh, you'll eat it if it, no? Okay, okay. Okay. It's there if you want it. It's totally there for you. Okay, ready? Let's go outside. I love now that um, she's already got the association. She stops at that line. Good job. Yes. Good job. Very good manners. Very good manners. Come on, Eve. Good choice. Come on. Good girl. Very good girl. She doesn't even cross that line. I don't even have to tell her. I don't even have to do the spatial pressure because um, she's made the association herself that, okay, I'm gonna stay back here because I know this is where you want me to stay. Good job. Okay, ready? Let's go outside. Cool. Good. Okay, good job. Good girl. Check it out, look around. Cool stuff, huh? Very cool stuff. Look over there, you see? Very nice. Good job! What a girl! Oh my goodness, what a girl! You're doing so good! That's so good! That's so good! She's very respectful and responsive. Oops. 
of um, that spatial pressure that I've been talking about, um, that me walking forward. She gives me my space every single time I ask for it. You wanna go outside? Let's go. Stopping at that line. Uh -huh. So now I wanna be able to me go out um, and have her wait till I call her. I know this is stressful, huh? Good job, Eve! Yes! Oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, give me kisses. Give me kisses. That's a really nice girl. That's a super good girl. Good girl. Give me that belly. Okay, let's go inside. Let's try it again. I know, it's so boring. We're doing it over and over and over. Oh my goodness. That's so crazy. Here, Eve. Eve. There. You want those? Oh, I know you like them. Those are the same ones. Those are the same ones you bring. It's not, you can tell the difference. You know the difference. Please? No? Okay, that's okay. Okay, let's go outside. Whoop. So we're that close to the door. I'm gonna walk her back to the line. Okay. Okay, she moved back, but she didn't cross that line. You broke a little bit early, but I'll still give it to you. You waited a long time. That was very good. She's like, what the heck are we doing going in and out? You can smell out there. You did really good. You can smell. Good job. Oh, what is that? Is that so nice? My eyes are blinded. You're blinded by the light. Look at the sneeze. in the end. Um, I see even right now um, how she's stopping at that line every time. Ready? Want to go inside? So I touch that door. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, I've seen you do better. You never want to um, accept anything better than the best she can give. Um, you never want to accept anything less than the best she can give. There we go. Um, because that way she she, you can't get better and better. We want to raise that bar every single time. Okay, Eve, ready? Let's go. So there she broke. I know she can stay. I know she has it in her. Uh -huh. Okay, good girl. I know you have it in you. Yes, that's why I, I expect such high things from you because you do so good. Yes, I have such high expectations because you do so good. You know, so you, oh, you lick my the inside my mouth. And yum, yum, yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ready? Good job. Super good. Super good lady. You're yawning. You like those treats, I promise. They're the same ones. I'm gonna try to switch out treats right now because I do I do want to make sure I'm paying her for this is hard work for them. Um, I'm asking a lot to stay here and not move, especially for a puppy. So I'm gonna just try switching out my treats. Um, see if there's anything in here I can get her to reward with. Okay, what about these? Ooh, I don't know what these are, Eve. Come here. Come on, Eve. She's sniffing around. That makes me feel like I didn't clean good enough in there. I'm gonna be cleaning like crazy. After this, Eve, you're making me feel, you're making me feel bad about my cleaning skills. Super good girl. Okay, ready? What about these? Here. Oh, so here she went to the door first. I'm gonna walk her back. Good. Okay, good 
job, Eve. Good job. That was a really good choice. Do you like this one? No. What? What? Oh, I have one you might like. This one? Here, I'll leave it on the floor. What if I put it on the floor? Let me get this one. Hmm. Okay, Katie. Okay. Have like probably 800 different kind of treats over there. Eve is like, nope, nope. Luckily, um, praise that petting, that good job, awesome is enough to fuel her to keep doing these behaviors. But again, I do want to overpay her. I want to let her know, I love what you're doing. Keep it up, keep it up, you're doing great. Good job. This is like a Christmas bonus. I'm gonna give you that Christmas bonus. Look what I got. What do you think about this? This is, oh, what do you think? Do you want me to put it there? You can decide. Oh, we like ye. We like ye the fish. Yes, this is a um, freeze-dried sardine. Oh. Oh, no, we don't like it? Really? You're going to leave a freeze-dried sardine on my floor? I know the other dogs are going to love, love it. They're going to come in here and be like, yes. Oh, she keeps going back to it. No, okay, that's okay. You don't have to eat it. I just really want to try I'm going to try to pay you for being such a good girl. Ready? Let's go. Let's go outside. Good. Very nice. Very good choice. Oh, you're in a really weird spot. Okay. Yes. You were going to get crushed by the door. Good girl. Good. What are you looking at? You saw things? Good job. Good job. Come here. You get, you get good job, Pat. Eve, 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 Eve. So distracting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's so, so, so distracting. It's so hard. It's so hard. It's so hard to be. Yes, it's so hard to listen and you're doing so good. Yes. Oh, what a good girl. Yes. 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 Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for those kisses. Thank you for those kisses. Um, another thing, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do it here. Oh. She went back to the sardine. She is unsure. She's unsure of the sardine. Kind of like it. I kind of absolutely do not like it. Come on. Come on. Good job. Another boundary I'm super big on having is a food boundary. Um, that's when they get fed their food um, throughout the day. So breakfast, dinner. Yes? Go get the sardine. Go get it. Go get the sardine. Go get the sardine. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to practice here because... She really doesn't have that motivation to go for anything is what I would do is I would get a bowl and I would do the same thing. Use that spatial pressure. You have to stay in the spot. I'm going to take your bowl. I'm going to set it down and then I'm going to invite you in. It's that impulse control. I really want that food, but I'm going to wait here until I'm told. Unfortunately, food isn't really a high motivation for her here. There's a lot of other cool things to smell and do. Luckily, going outside and me petting her is a lot of motivation so I can do the door boundaries. Um, but that food one would be a good one to practice at home. Uh, let's see if, I got, there has to be something. There has to be something you love, Eve. What is it? It's not the fish. You eat it. I promise you can eat it. Oh, oh, you can take it. Okay, she's wandering off with it. So I think she might go eat it in privacy. Maybe she just doesn't like wa being watched while she eats. Oh, I think she ate it. Oh, I'm not looking at you. I'm, I'm, not, I'm over here. My eyes are closed. She looked back at me and then stopped chewing. She's so funny. She's so funny. Okay, I think we might have liked that. I'm gonna move back in here. And we're going to work on this door. Um, so that was the door to the outside. This is the door um, from the training area to the reception area. Okay. Oh, Eve. We're going to shut the door. I know. Let me see if I can. Is that the door? There we go. There we go. Eve. 
Oh my goodness, I got some fishies for you. Right? Oh, I know it smells so good in here. Eve. Right? Right? Good girl. Come on, Eve. Oh. Distraction. Things are so cool. Yes, such cool things. Look at this. Ready? Good girl. Nice job. Nice job. Good girl. Right here. Give me your toy. Give me your toy. Good girl. Good girl. having a rewarding play session. Good job. It's just as good as any treats. Um, Cause again, right now these treats are just not high enough value, which is making me sad. But hey, I like that you like affection and toys. I can work with both of those. Okay, ready? Right here, I'm letting her problem solve. I'm not telling her what to do. I'm letting her make her own decision. And I'm going to super reward her when she makes the right one. <clears throat> She's thinking. I just hope we don't get that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She heard dog barks. Good! <laughs> Girl. 
Here, we're gonna try that problem solving exercise again. What do we gotta do? She's thinking, like that she's thinking, and not quitting. I know if I were a dog, I'd quit the second I couldn't get it. I'd be like, mm, it's not worth it, bye. So I like that they continue to think. I'm giving a little hint. Good! Yes, 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 good girl! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. Nice job, good girl, awesome, good choice. Here I'm doing a problem solving exercise. One more time. I'm hoping um, I won't have to use the hint. Are you looking at my keys? Don't quit, don't quit. You got it. You can do it. What do we gotta do? You got it, come on Eve. Come on Eve. Okay, now I'm gonna give the hint. Good girl! <laughs> That's what it is! That's exactly what we have to do. Problem solving is hard for any dog. Uh, uh, reacting is their first instinct, not thinking things through. So she's waiting for me to tell her what to do so she can react. Um, it's weird waiting for a behavior that's not being asked. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Yes, 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 Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Oh, yes. There we go. There's a good tub. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Good tub. Nice job. Okay, ready? Oh, good job. I told you. I told you what you needed to do. I forgot your problem solving. I forgot. Sorry, that was my bad. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. What do we gotta do? And I'm gonna give her up to uh, 30 seconds to think. If she doesn't get it in 30 seconds, then I'll give her a hint. She hears noises downstairs, which is very distracting. It's hard to think when you're distracted. Um, she's doing good though. Come on, Eve. What do we gotta do? Yeah, come on, over here. I know you're distracted, I know it's hard. I know it's hard, come on Eve. Do you wanna give her a couple more seconds? Come on Eve, what do we gotta do? Yes, good job, good job. I gave her a minor hint. Um, that one was way less of a hint than I was giving before. Good job, good job. Good job! I kind of just uh, flashed the toy around and then she's like, oh, I remember what we're doing. Oh my goodness. Um, it's that puppy brain. Noises. There's a lot of noises, lots of sounds, and lots of smells. So she's super distracted. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh, get it, 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 get it. Nice job! Nice job! Yes, 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 yes. What a girl! What a girl! Ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. hard having to sit there and think uh, again if it were me if I were a dog I'd be the worst dog ever I wouldn't even try I'd be like if I don't know what I'm doing bye I'm out of here nothing is worth it to me I love that they don't quit I love that they try 
even if they get it wrong, um, they still try, and she doesn't quit. I love it. Um, distracted, yes. Uh, gets a little distracted here and there with sounds and smells. That's a puppy. That's a dog thing. Um, at, with age, she'll definitely outgrow that. Good job. And with practice, she'll outgrow it. That was really good. That was really good. I saw you problem solve all by yourself. Yes, that's a hard thing to do to make the right decision. Yes, it is. Um, Though uh, one thing that's nice about treating with a toy instead of with a treat, or with a food, I guess you could say, um, is that it doesn't really feel like a training session to them. Uh, if, you know, we're just playing with my toys. Oh, what? What? Sure. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, sure, we'll take this leash off. We can take the leash off. Good job. <laughs> Um, but yes, this is less of a training session. Um, uh, 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 less of a training session to her and more of just, we're having fun. Um, which is really, uh, ah, here we have that, um, barking for, um, attention. So right there, I'm not going to give her the attention she so desires from her barking. Um, I want a different behavior or better behavior, uh, for attention. Good job. Now I gave you attention. Now I'm going to give the girls a little attention. Nope. Smells. Distracted by the smell. Um, but that's the upside to uh, treating or rewarding training with a toy. The downside to rewarding training with a toy is obviously every time they give you the behavior you want, you have to have them play with the toy, which could take up to between 10 and 30 seconds, depending on how long of playtime you give them. With treats, you can do repetition after repetition after repetition, so you get more in there. Um, with toys, obviously, less repetitions because they have to have that playtime in between. So if at home, um, she, you know, is really all about the food that day, use the food. If she's not about the food, it's fine using the toy, but just know you're going to get less repetitions in. But it's more, I don't want to say it's more enjoyable. Some dogs just love food to death, but it's fun. It's just a different aspect of training. It doesn't feel like it. It just feels like a big old game. So there's your kind of pros and cons to that. Um, let's see if I can get her. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for coming back. You ready? You ready? You ready? Yes! Right away! How did you know that's what I want? How did you know? How did you get so smart? How did you get so smart? Oh, over here, over here. How did you know that's what I want? How did you know? How did you get so smart? Who's a smart girl? Who's a smart girl? Yeah, I'm a smart girl. That's weird. Oh, right there. Yeah, I'm a smart Stop if need be. 
there might be times where, you know, the, stop, the playing has to stop immediately. And sometimes they don't understand that and they'll nip you because um, they're still playing even though we're not. They don't understand that. So that's what's nice about having that on-off switch. Able to turn off that excitement and calm down on the drop of a dime. They don't know. What? Oh, you're tired? You're tired. Oh, you can't be tired. You can't be tired. You can't be tired. You can't be tired. What do we do? <laughs> Go get it. Go get it. Um, to drop, yeah, change that behavior on a drop of a dime. Yes, yes. Turn it off. Turn it off. Because sometimes, sometimes we need good, quiet behavior. Sometimes we need excited behavior. Yes, 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 yes. Very good girl. Very nice girl. Um, yeah, so sometimes it's appropriate to be jumping and feel crazy, nippy, bitey, sometimes it's not. And we're just teaching. Between that, if we don't teach it, they really don't know it. Good job. Oh, oh, oh. Under your belly, under your belly, under your belly. Yes, 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 get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes, 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 leave it. Good girl, nice job, good job. Toy. Um, I remember you saying she wasn't really super interested in toys um, at first unless Gunny has it. Oh. Unless Gunny has it. If Gunny has it, then I feel like it's... Good girl. Good girl. Now, um, there was me. It's kind of like playing the silent game or the invisible, you're not existing game. Um, any behaviors that I don't like, I'm going to ignore you until you cut it out. And then I'm going to give you all the attention you want in the meantime after you give me the good stuff. Good stuff. Uh-uh. Good girl! Good job! That's really awesome! Uh, there was noises there. Noises, sounds, smells.